Hello and welcome to WordPress Tutorials. In today's video, I'll show you how to get or how to scrap any news website just like this Hindustan Times or Indian Express and get these news and put them into your website. For example, my website is uh, news2 at shifonline.com and this is how it looks like right now. And I have all categories uh, related to news listed here in the post category section entertainment national pakistan sports top story etc so now i'll add uh, indian news website india category into my wordpress website so i already have some posts um, about 84 posts and each category is mentioned to uh, every post and you can see on the front end it looks something like this if we open a single page a single news page then this is how it will look like there's a category title date thumbnail and then post contents and then the comment section so uh, the sidebar is also sticky if you want to see how I made this blog then you can watch my video in the I section or I'll leave a description link in the description so you can click that and learn how to make a website like this uh, but in this video I'll show you how to get uh, or how to scrap news from this website the Indian Express and the specific category India to your website or uh, from this India news Hindustan Times and uh, put them into your website first of all we will open Google Chrome you will need a Google Chrome browser for this and you will have to install this uh, web scrapper extension if you do not have this yet then go to settings or go to more tools extensions and click on these three lines open Chrome browser type web scrapper dot io and press enter okay this is the web scrapper offered by webscraper.io you have to click here and then uh, here will be a button called add to chrome because I already have this on my chrome extension bar that is why it's not uh, there but you will have to click on add to chrome and you will uh, then able to see this icon here so that means you are uh, ready to go so after installing this extension uh, you will right click on the page where you want to scrap the data uh, but first you will go to the link for example I am clicking on this India or just let's, uh, let's just uh, download or scrap data from Indian Express first so I am already on the category Indian Express section and India so right click on the page anywhere and click on inspect element if you do not see this inspect element like this and if you are able to see it like that this is the first time when you open the inspect element then click on these three dots this is for browser and this is for inspect element click on these three dots and click on dock to bottom and then you will be able to see like this click on web scrapper and then click on create new sitemap and click on create sitemap then copy this link from the specific category you want to scrap and paste it in this URL section here and name your sitemap it will be good if you name it just like the website so you don't forget uh, what was its name create sitemap now first we will get all these single links this link this link because uh, we will have to go to each page and get the data from that uh, so the scrapper will do this automatically you don't have to worry about that but uh, you will mention these to the scrapper which are the single links and what data you need from each single link so first of all let's click on add new selector and type here the name uh, I'll name it as single and change the type from text to link and then click on select and then choose your first link and then the first second link 
and all other links will be selected automatically but if not then uh, click the third link as well until all these are automatically selected so if you come to the bottom you can see all these are selected now click on done selecting but before done selecting before saving this uh, click on multiple because we have uh, multiple links on one page click on save and let's check by clicking on data preview to to ensure that uh, it's getting the data or not the single href is the link which we need to get data okay now uh, if you are getting all the news and uh, want to get further from the next page as well then scroll down to the buttons where it says next and click on add new selector on the same route where you added the single click on add new selector I'll name it as next change type from text to single uh, link and uh, do not select this multiple because there is only one next link on each page now click on select and choose this next click done selecting and check yes if it's getting the page to okay and uh, from the next page we will uh, again get the next link so we will uh, choose parent as root and then press control and click on next so the next will be also its parent it will be a parent itself and then click on single again click on edit and choose next as a parent for this as well because we will uh, get all singles links from the next page as well now click on single here and now the parent is single we will get all things from the single now so click on any news and open it so this is the single link and we are already in the single parent now we will first get the category click on add new selector all these selectors all these uh, things will be single because uh, each data will be required one time only type category choose text as type and select and choose this second breadcrumb because it's it's our category and do not choose multiple because this is just one data check yes it's getting and save because the parent is just single okay we have the category now now we will need the title type type in the name you can name it anything but I'm uh, naming them the way I want because I will uh, have to remember them okay type text click on data preview to check okay it's getting and the parent is single save now we have two things in the single page the one is category and the second one is title we will need uh, the thumbnail now click on add new selector name it as image or picture or anything and uh, change the type from text to image because we will need the link of this image not the actual uh, tag click select and click on the image and it's done data preview yes it's getting this image if you open this image in a new tab then you will see that it's the actual image and the link is correct okay close it and click save now we have three things now if we get this short description if you want to get short description then add a new layer as short and leave it as text select okay done now scroll down to the news details section it starts from here click add new selector type description or details anything you want and uh, for type uh, for this section you um, you may have to select as text or you can choose it as HTML 
because many of uh, these descriptions have multiple images, links, etc. So um, when you choose HTML, all these things will be grabbed. So if we click here and choose the parent of this div because uh, it, it is now selecting a single paragraph. If we find the parent of this, then you can see that the image and all these things are also included. So if you change it to text, then if you data preview, save data preview, then you can see that it's just like this in HTML form. But for text, it will be something like this, which is uh, okay by me because um, I just need to add these things as my test blogs, but you can choose the HTML version of it. And the parent is single, click on save. Now, uh, let's check the selected graph. We have root, then on root, we will get single pages and next. And then in next, we will again uh, get single pages and next, then again, 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 until the uh, all pages are done. So click on sitemap, scrap and start. Now it will uh, get the single links from this page. You don't have to click anywhere. You just leave it and watch it. It will first get single links, then uh, for all these single links, it will go one by one on all these blogs and get the category, title, image, short description and description from each page. And then it will save it into a CSV file so that you can uh, download it. Uh, I'm skipping this section because it will take about uh, five to 10 minutes, depends on uh, how many blogs they have. And then I'll uh, resume the video to show you how to download the CSV and how to save it uh, and how to import it uh, to your uh, WordPress website in the post section along with the categories. Okay, as you can see, all the posts are finished. Um, actually, there are thousands of posts on this page, but uh, I just got only two pages and click on sitemap and click on export CSV to get the data file. Click on download and open the file in Excel. Okay, as you can see, we have uh, 51 posts because uh, that is just two pages data. The next page was uh, just click two times. Now you can see we have uh, category, title, image, short description and the description. Maybe we do not need a short description, but uh, we will definitely need all these four categories. Okay, now click on file save as and choose the save as type from uh, Unicode to CSV comma delimited CSV, not this Machintosh or not this MS-DOS. Choose this one and I'll save it on my desktop as Indian news and click on save. Yes. Okay. Now open your website where you want to grab all these posts, come to your dashboard from plugins, click on plugins, add new. In the search bar, type WP import export light and press enter. Okay, this is the plugin which you will need to install from VJ Infotech. Click on install now. Activate the plugin. After activating the plugin, you will be able to see this menu WP import export. Click on new import. Now here you will have to choose the post type, select export type will be post uh, sorry I, ex I clicked on export click on new import not export 
okay here you will be able to upload your file which we just saved on our desktop click on select file India news choose it it will check the validity of the file and then you will be able to click on continue to next step here import each record as post because I have all these news in my uh, post type so I'll choose this import new items and skip existing items upgrade existing item and skip new items no I will uh, import new items and if uh, any item is existed and news existed already then it will update uh, the data so click on continue skip to the last and click on continue okay here we will need title description short description images and category so in the title grab uh, your files title and leave it in this section then scroll down and get your description and leave it in the content area the short description to excerpt and in images get your image SRC now scroll down to the categories click on categories and get the category to this field now continue to step 5 you can uh, increase this delay to prevent your website to go down so click on continue and confirm and run import okay this will take about two to three minutes uh, because all these posts will be imported to your website as well as those images will also be uploaded directly from their website to your website so all these links will be used approximately two to three minutes will be uh, taken here okay I already had uh, 20 news in my website uh, about this section and 30 are created 20 are updated uh, if you come to the home page and refresh it you will be able to see uh, scroll down to the recent news section and you can see all India news are now added here you can also change this widget uh, to India or this one um, and um, all these things are mentioned in my video how to build a news website you can watch it from uh, the description link from the description so uh, this was all for today's video I hope you learned something from this please give this video a thumbs up and please subscribe to our channel and you will get uh, videos like this in the future Thank you.